What up to my dolls? I am Leon Talia, also known as Lydia Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and hey to my babies if you are true. going through that because what they do they do this now <laughs> or however it is whatever it is anyways welcome if you are true y'all um and hey if you are new like i said um it's six something i'm i'm not running late yet but i have to put on some clothes i've been in nightgowns on my vlogs for the past couple of weeks okay <laughs> um if you watched the last vlog it was an emotional Wrecked, honey. It was an emotional freaking wreck. Um, it was a good rant though to me. I uploaded it. I don't know what the comments is looking like. So at this point, it is what it is. But it is Thursday, and you guys know oh, my nail about to break. You guys know that um Thursdays are my days. Okay, I'm about to get ready to go train. Um, I just finished editing and i had to take a nap girl because it had been a long day i got a reading today the reading oh my gosh oh my gosh it was crazy it was crazy so <laughs> after that i went to food city i had to get some cat litter because i need to clean the cat's litter box and then um i had picked up some fruit and then i was finna buy me some flowers and then somebody called me and they was like, don't buy you no flowers. It's National Flowers Day. I left flowers at your door. So I came home and my trash was down and I had all these flowers at my door. Okay. But to me, I just be feeling like people be trying to do stuff and they be trying to show out when they know they done did something. When they know they done did something to you. And I ain't with that shit. I feel like I've been in a place of like keeping shit to myself and you know just trying to be a little bit more privé <laughs> private about shit but i'm really really i'm really i'm really that girl i'm really that girl i'm gonna just leave it at that so anyways um i'm drinking a, a lunny the juicy peach um because i gotta get some energy to go work out i don't know how i'm gonna make it through the day because i've been drinking my detox see y'all know i got all these detox with me. i got the whole tlc over here okay so i have been drinking the taramindo tea mixed with the fruit punch and baby puts me in the toilet okay me and the toilet been best friends for the past couple of weeks my stomach feels like y'all can't see in this nightgown right now but my stomach feels like it's in my back it's not but in my imagination it's down and then i just feel the difference as far as because i've been eating healthier this week like even when i took my mama to red lobster i only had a salad shrimp scampi um i didn't have like no fried foods and stuff i really ain't ate no fried foods all week um i've been doing really good i've been drinking a lot of water and I've been detoxing. And then I've been working out. I've been working out and I've been doing my jump ropes every single day. The group chat for the jump rope challenge is so lit. Everybody in there has so much energy. Um, this challenge had only about like 15 people, which is really, really good because I haven't did a challenge um, in two. I didn't do a challenge at all last year. So for me to be starting back out, I'm really excited about that. And everybody in the group got so much good energy. Everybody is so excited. Um, we got people starting out at 400 pounds. We got people who just 130 pounds and they just want to talk. So I love the different um, spectrum. You know what I'm saying? I love like the, the variety. I love the variety of the different people that we got in there. Everybody be like um, motivating each other, inspiring each other. And... Yeah, it be lit. So, when I get back home, I'm going to get these flowers in some water. If I have enough time. Because I do have, I'm, I ain't going to have no choice. 
I do have a therapy session tonight at 9.30. So I got therapy tonight at 9 30 and then my daddy have surgery tomorrow and it's looking like I'm probably gonna have to take him to the hospital in the morning for his surgery and that means I'm gonna have to get my butt up at six something take him to the hospital um because he has to be there at seven and then I have a lash appointment at nine so while he in surgery I'm going to be getting my lashes done. And then I wanted to get a new memory card because I want to film, um, like, a spring update maintenance type video, whatever, something like that. Because I do need to do my hair and all that stuff. I'm not going to be in this funk. I, like I said on my last vlog, I always say, girls, when we going through something, when something is bothering us emotionally, like we give ourselves time to feel it because that's how the type of person I am. I'm not no fake flogging ass motherfucker. Like I ain't finna act like shit don't hurt me when it indeed do be hurting me. So I'm not that type of girl. I'm a lover girl. If you hurt my feelings, you hurt my feelings. It is what it is. But baby, once I feel it and I allow myself to feel it, I allow myself to feel it on purpose. I get my ass up, I get moving. You know what I'm saying? And then that's just what it be. And so, you go from there. You do what you got to do. You don't sit in it. You ain't going to dwell on it. You know, you just got to keep going. So, yeah. <laughs> Once I give it to God, it's in God's hands. And I just got to keep moving forward and, you know, living my life. Trying to live the life that... Trying to do me, shit. Everything ain't goddamn politically correct, and everything ain't spiritually correct. Like, shit, you just gotta take it how you take it, take it one day at a time. You might be mad at a motherfucker today, you might be back with him tomorrow. Who the fuck knows? You know what I'm saying? You don't know. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like for so long, I've been like trying to be very careful about what it is I say because you know y'all like to take shit or the internet likes to take shit and be like ooh is something going on over here is something going on over there and then you know like for people to like try to come up with these motherfucking conspiracy theories I don't know if y'all know how that feel like I be feeling bad for the celebrities for the people who like celebrities because If it's even, I'm just getting a little fraction of it being an influencer. You hear me? I'm just getting a little fraction of it being an influencer. But as a celebrity, you know, they on a way higher scale. So, like, for people to just try to make up these different things that's going on with your life. And, you know, you will tell people about what's going on when you tell them. And I'm different because I'm an actual influencer. And so, I come to my platform and I spill the motherfucking beans about what I want to spill the beans about. But when I ain't ready to spill the beans, I ain't got to spill the beans because I'm mad I want to talk about what I want to talk about. If that makes sense, I hope y'all are picking up when I put it down. Anyways, <laughs> I just did a whole nother rant in like two seconds. Anyways, um, I'm starting a vlog. I'm happy about that. I'm uploading one. Um, I got to go put on some gym clothes, so let me... <coughs> Okay, so now that I'm changed, I'm finna get ready to head out the door. My blog is taking forever in a day to upload, y'all. So, hopefully it's uploaded by the time I get back home. Shit. Wait for the checks to finish before I post. I'm sure if save the drag, you can close the dialogue. Okay, hopefully it be finished uploading by the time I get back home. If not, I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm running late out the dough. I really need to put these into water because I don't want them to get sick. But they are cute. They look really cute. I need to put them into water. But I don't have no water to put them in. Oh, I always like it back, honey. If they die, they die. Fuck it. You hear me? So, got my energy drink. I'm gonna put my shower on. 
Y'all bitch. My um cardigan on. And then I'm gonna go out the door. I'm gonna go out the door. I'll take y'all with me. Y'all can see a little bit of boot camp today. I think it's sweat face. Cause yeah. Oh my stomach. Oh, it's fucking detox tea. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye y'all. <laughs> Time I sip on cocaine, I get wrong. Annoying the sounds of the storm when it comes. She understand I can't take her everywhere I nigga going. I've been in the field like the children on the corn. I can hear the tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at yourself cause you can't leave me alone. Gossip and mess, it ain't what we doing. Traveling around the world. Over the phone, dropping tears. I get my bonnet when I get through. When you drunk, you tell me exactly how you feel. Time away from women. I cannot convince you that I love you for a living. I be on your line, feelings flowing like a river. You be texting back, you and Kiki on the river. Message say the liver, but I know that y'all don't get it. Why you introduce us if you knew that you was with him? Made me shake his hand, we got the fuck for a minute. Walk me off the plane because you know that I'm a swimmer. Supposed to be a dog, but you don't put me in a kennel. Girl, put a muscle on me, all that barking over dinner. I was fucking with you when you had a tiny person. Okay, babies, I'm back at home. I don't even know if I let y'all know that. Um, I had to let ice out, and it's 9.34. I'm waiting on my therapist to hop on because we about to have another session tonight. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Mm, I didn't get to do my homework, so I don't know how that's going to go, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With mom, aunts, things like that. Mm -hmm. Trust factors growing up. Mm, cousin, thinking I trust you and then I can't trust you. Mm -hmm. Um wanting someone to be trusted and then kind of take your business as a parental figure, you know, had your brother, mm -hmm. but probably still needing something a little bit more. And then moving into adulthood, I want somebody I can trust. I've gone through this for a long time. I need that. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think that that's spot on. I never thought of it like that. Um, and I think that's why I, I um, I go back to, <laughs> that's crazy because that I, particularly how I'm relating to people, you know, um, still wanting that stability and foundation and that trust. And when people waver, then it triggers you to feel just like you did when you were in the house. Mm -hmm. back with your family members that's a trigger for you you know that you know when and now that trigger that feeling goes back to when you were six seven years old mm -hmm. so that might be something to discuss with yes. so let's pause there okay and i think we need to come back and revisit that household again okay i don't think we're through with that because i still want to get a little bit deeper with nene okay and mom too, you know. Mm -hmm. the small baby Nini. I mean, not Nini. Small baby Lily. <laughs> <laughs> Lily yes. Nini. Small baby Lily. 
is being triggered. Yeah. Baby Lily is saying, uh, I, I've been through some rough times. And mm-hmm. now here we are again. I'm big Lily. Mm-hmm. And here we, I'm, this is still going on. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of it. I want to get out of this. Mm-hmm. You know? And then mom, <laughs> you know, I heard you say, uh, and if they make me feel unhealthy or disrupt something or, what, you know, I get into this trust struggle or they're not really doing what I think needs to be done in a relationship, mm, I think I'm just going to wait and hopefully they're going to change. But you've been doing that forever, <laughs> hoping that somebody's going to change. Mm-hmm. And you saw people still going through it right now in the family. Yeah. Um, yeah, just think about that. Okay. I think I see you're gonna cut somebody off right now. No, I know. I but know. just think about it. Okay. And then too, be cautious too mm-hmm. of bringing expectations that a person cannot fulfill. Sometimes it's like I'm gonna, I want you to come here, but I, you really only can get here. Yes. And if you only can get here, but I need you up here, I'm always gonna be disappointed. Yes. It's going to be the question, too, as we move forward, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm about to get my burrito. I, I think I... Um, <laughs> okay, rising, y'all. Okay, rising. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, uh, It's 9.06. My dad is in surgery right now, and I have a lash appointment at 9.30. Um, so... I'm about to get ready to head to that. I'm going to be filming like some type of spring renew maintenance vlog where I do my hair, my lashes, nails, toes, um, probably healthy stuff over the weekend or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get ready to head out. I just wanted to check in. I need to let ice out the door but i had to throw this wig back on my head just so i could go get my lashes done i moisturized my face put my earrings on these little bit of ones that i got from tarjay i got on the ring that i got for valentine's day from my daughter mm, then my favorite little chanel necklace i need to get my gold jewelry fix my hand of god necklace is broken so i need to get it fixed i need to get my ring that i got from um saint martin fix it's like a lot of stuff that i need to do however um i need to get out the door okay i just wanted to say great rocks all right and uh, yeah let's go yeah i'm gonna let eyes out before i go for a second Come on, Papa Man. Come on, Papa Man. You got pee-pee? Oh, and then I'm going to put some water in here because, baby, he be thirsty. My man's be thirsty. And while I'm at it, grab me a little I don't even have a water bottle. I don't have no water bottle this morning. That's gonna piss me off. But it's 9 13. I feel like I need to be out the door by like 9 15. What's crazy is I have an actual bottle of Nutribur. How many of these do I got left? Um, I might send these out. So I think I'm going to save these because I got like six, seven left and I might send them out. I'm just going to use the bottle. Girl, my camera says on one percent. I know you fucking lie. 
<laughs> I didn't charge it all at all last night, and I'm talking about filming a freaking maintenance video. How sway? How? How are you finna film? <sighs> Shit. Cheers. Ah. Uh. Anyways, let's go. Y'all, I took my Nutriburst. Um, I got the bottle. I'm gonna take another little shot because that one was real small. This is a daily multivitamin. The link to order you some is down below. This shit gonna give me energy and my camera did. What the fuck? How the fuck am I gonna do this? I'm supposed to be filming a maintenance vlog. Camera did. I'm gonna have to bring, I'm gonna have to charge you in the car. Okay, bye. Can I feel? Yes. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me order this. Can I have um a grande iced lavender matcha? Oh, Rick, what else can I get for you? Can you add um like three pumps of vanilla syrup to it? And can you make sure it has the um the lavender cold foam on top? Alright, what else can I get for you? And then what else they say? Add um two scoops of vanilla bean powder. Alright, anything else? That's all. Hello. Alright, let's see the vanilla total. Okay. He is Okay. Okay. And then, okay, I'm right around the corner, so I'll be there. And I, I just come in the front. Um, and go to day surgery. Okay, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Thank you. Bye bye. Y'all, I'm ordering this drink off of um, Starbucks. I was on tiktok and then i'm sitting here i don't know what the hell somebody said they had a venti today with three pumps of chai and extra lavender cold foam child i hope i ordered this shit right but baby we finna see we finna see we finna see so i'm excited to try it different i don't know i don't know honey let me pull over here um uh, i'm around the corner from where my daddy is at the hospital so i'm gonna get ready to just swing around here and go get him it's dark hold on i feel like this looks so different i'm gonna try this shit hold on yeah i'm gonna try it so Okay, so I'm going to vlog when I come back out of here. I'm going to go in the hospital, um, get my daddy, and everything went well with the surgery. They was able to move that little implant part in his toe and fix it, and then they um, removed some scar tissue. So everything went well, is what they said. So I know he's going to be kind of graggy. I don't know. Y'all know William. Honey, we finna go see. <laughs> finna go um, get him. And I'm, I wasn't gonna take the camera, but I'm gonna just go ahead and take it. Did I put the damn? No, I did. I'm gonna just take it, take it. 
Drop my daddy off. He bought me some lunch. I got some lasagna frita from um, Olive Garden because he got some Olive Garden. But I actually want to get me a bottle of water. I'm probably going to go through a drive through. So I'm contemplating because I'm up here in Cleveland. I was going to go to the TJ Maxx and stuff out here. And then I like they Target out here. 
But girl, mm -hmm. I'm kind of in the mood to go the fuck home. I can't even lie. But it's like, why? What you got to do? Nay. But I don't want to be in no traffic either. And it's already 2.47. I'm probably just finna go on and go. And like look around. Stop at the store. Up here and get me. Something. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. I'm in the TJ Maxx y'all. They got new little travel bags that are super cute and even look at these Steve Madden bags that's like the Christian Dior bags but I kind of like this take me to the beach baby we're gonna look around and they got more of these oh this is cute $29.99 I kind of like Ooh, I like this one that is cute for $39 but your girl don't really need no more damn bags but when I come in here this one always got the cute shit This one always got the cute fucking bags. Like, I can't even. That pink. Always, always, always. And these jean ones. Hold on. Y'all see this? That is cute. And it actually has a matching necklace. And this one is cute too. Y'all like right that? Yeah, it's four o'clock. I got like an hour driving home because it's gonna be traffic. I was finna stop at this Target up here because I like the Target up here, but um, it's gonna rain. Excuse me, it's gonna rain, and um. I'm probably finna go. Let me tell y'all what just happened to me though. So I'm coming out of the TJ Maxx. I'm like, oh shit, my stomach hurts. So I got some more jewelry. First of all, I got a new bracelet. I'm gonna show y'all the bracelet when I get home. I got a new bracelet. I got two rings. And I got some perfume. And bitch, this the perfume that I got. I can't even wait to show y'all this. I got the Juliet has a gun. Um, not a perfume. The auto perfume. This shit was $79.99. When I say the shit, it, I only sprayed it on this spot on my wrist. The shit is hitting me in the face as I drive. I'm sitting here like, God damn girl, I'm finna make love to myself in the car. Like, this shit smells so good coming up off my body. And I remember smelling this in Sephora, but I was like, this shit ain't worth almost no $200. I think the bottle like $145, $150, something like that. Baby, for a good 80, it's worth every fucking penny. It's worth every penny. I keep smelling myself. Then, when I was just, okay, I had to go to the bathroom real bad. But I'm like, it's like at least a 40 minute drive home here. Y'all, that detox tea kicked in. When I say I had to find the nearest bathroom, so my thought process was it's a TJ Maxx. Um, a Ulta, a PetSmart, a Home Goods, a Hibbits. I was like, I'm gonna go in PetSmart. I had to hit a U-turn because I was gonna go get on the highway. I had to hit a U-turn. I went to the PetSmart. I said, y'all got a bathroom? Girl, I had to go blow their bathroom down. I knew it wasn't gonna be nobody in there and I was like, it already smelled like dog in there anyway. So, that's TMI, but yeah, yeah. That's what, that went on. That went on, okay? So, <laughs> um, Damn, do I want to go? I'm out here. We out here. Just, just go on and go. Because I think it's a Target. It's a Rouse. Yeah. And I can go in the Target and the Rouse over here. And just look around. Just see what they got. 
So, okay, boom. Come out of PetSmart. I go look at the cats or whatever. And then I take myself on to the altar. I walk to the altar next door. So, I've been in altar for about an hour looking at shit. Because I knew I wanted some new foundation. I used to be a NARS girl. But I couldn't remember what color I got. Um, so, I end up getting a NARS um, Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Cadiz. Which I'll show y'all all this when I get home. But anyways, I got some foundation. I got some Maybelline press powder. I got um, a blush from Juvia's Place. Because, you know, I want a pinker blush. That's what's on my hand right here. And since the Rouse is first i'm gonna go in the routes first and then what else i get i got um oh uh mac chestnut because i normally wear a mac cork but i just went on and got mac chestnut and i'm calling it a day and so boom that was like one something but oh while i was in there i sprayed the burberry goddess like further down on my wrist and i kind of really like the way that smell i said oh i'm gonna smell like a new i'm gonna smell like a whole different person this summer like because these are different from my sense oh i'm gonna smell like a new bitch <laughs> i don't have patience for ross to look through these damn i don't i don't got patience I don't know, I don't think I can do it. Okay, that's a failed mission. That overwhelmed the fuck out of me. I honestly don't even think I wanna go in Target. It's all the way down there. I'm not lying to y'all. This perfume smells so good. No, that's Ashley's old neighbor's Target all the way down there. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get my ass on the highway. This wig is hanging on by a thread, baby. It's barely on my fucking head. Um, I was trying to put my purse over my head, and it got hooked on the clout. Bitch, the wig was back here like this. I'm getting in the car. The wig is back here like this. I was like, oh my God. Like, girl, you gotta do better. You gotta do it. I literally just threw it on because I just had to go pick up my daddy from the um, hospital so dang but okay let me charge the camera so i can film when i get home and stuff um i was supposed to get my nails and my toes done i don't know y'all huncho coming to the city tomorrow and so i was like i love me some huncho y'all know i love me some huncho and i kind of wanted to go so i asked tasha but the part of town where the club is at is not giving it's not giving at all it's giving very much hood and you don't need to be on that side of town um but i love me some huncho and he coming to the city and the ticket's 75 dollars and if she waits till last minute tomorrow to decide to go they're gonna be like one something i'm definitely not paying that when i could go to motherfucking atlanta and see him for 25 dollars <laughs> like for real shit see him and everybody the hell else <sighs> okay get the hell out of here because i'm ready to go bye i'm home babies um before i get into everything i've been home for a minute actually i had to take ice out i sat down for a minute and then i realized it's almost seven so what i'm gonna do is go to my gym and i'm gonna do my jump ropes and then i'm gonna do a 30 minute workout really quick i need to switch bras because this bra the little boobies be coming out but i don't really got time i don't really feel like it so what i'm about to do is just go around here do this little 30 minutes it's a friday normally i don't work out on fridays however we're gonna get it done you heard me we about to get it done so i'm about to put my sweat belt on y'all see my fat little belly <laughs> it's gonna be gone i promise you it's gonna be gone i promise you but this is 
I haven't did any of these in a long time. Like showing y'all my body. And I was going to start like a week one, week two type of thing. But I didn't. If y'all want that, let me know. And I'll start it this week, Monday. Because I'm pretty sure y'all getting this vlog Sunday. So. Ooh. Hopefully I ain't show my damn pooch. Okay. Finna grab my water bottle. Like I said, this bra is bullshit. But. Wig loose already off. I took my watch off. Charging my phone a little bit. When I come back, I'm going to do all those flowers. Um, I'm probably going to order me some cheddars. I think I want some salmon. So, I'm going to probably have salmon today. Yeah. That's going to be that. So, let's go to the gym. They say time here. This boy Anthony right here. He said, "Listen, I want no tricks. We got a whole lot of tricks. You got a whole lot of tricks, and I wanna see what you do." Say that you've been noticing, he ain't me. If I ever made you angry, girl, just know that it get better over time. Best kept secret. They say time is. She can't see her life without me. She's so plastic. Okay, y'all. I am in the public now. Um, I came here because I need to get me something to cook. So I got some grapes. I got some romaine lettuce, some raspberry vinaigrette, and I'm going to get some chicken or and some salmon, I think, um, because I want to make me a salad tomorrow. I call cheddar, so I'm going to pick up my order from cheddar today, and then I'll be looking for that zero sugar lemon, but I don't see it. So I'm just gonna get some regular strawberries, okay? Regular strawberries, okay? Um, I don't see any. I don't see it. But anyway, um, yeah. Just give me something to snack on because I don't know if I'm gonna leave the house tomorrow. I did all that talking about um, going to hunch or whatever. However, I probably don't even end up. I gotta start. Sound good. Yeah, I got stuff to do. Something looks fresh. Okay, so, anyways, let me get what I came in here for so I can get out and then go pick up my food. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. And I be liking these. Y'all be seeing these little prepackaged meals? Say meal for one, meal for one. But it be the like. It don't be here. I got it from Food City. It was a salmon one I got one time. The shit was so good. It was so good. You lie so fucking much, but okay. Okay. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Okay, that's what 
you gotta keep in your mind. Ultimately, either way, you win. So it's gonna be some tears. It's gonna be some ups and downs. It's gonna be to pull it and tug it. It's gonna be some reminders. You gonna start getting your healing. It's just like that lady who made that video and she was like, when you start healing and she had the water in the cup and the golf ball was coming out the top and she was like, all oh, that rise up to the surface. Girl, sir, who well, watch this? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> when you start going after the proper help, you start praying, you start applying things and not just talking about it. Oh my gosh, the stuff that come up. Oh, oh, you be in a battle. But I promise you the battle is already won. And if you are in a position, especially where you are being called to isolation, and you're getting out of a relationship, get out of that mind state that you wish somebody was fighting for you. Because God is fighting for you. Mm -hmm. And that's the most powerful love you could ever experience or receive. Because it's limitless. It has no conditions. The way that he views you, no one can view you that way. You'll never experience a love like that. And you're craving to be chased and you're craving to be fought for by people who would only fight to hurt you more because they can't even handle you. They don't even have the capacity to love you in the way that God does. So let him work on you, let him heal you, let him isolate you and accept this moment fully. Because I promise you, the woman or the, man, or the man that you will be when you come out of this will not look like anything you have ever seen in your life. You never experienced this version of you. It's going to shock you. And you're going to be so thankful that you did not fall in love with the idea or the potential. God is trying to exceed your expectations. Because the things that you desire right now it's nothing compared to what God has for you. The level that you desire things on right now, you settling severely. Okay? So let God isolate you and work on you. Embrace this process. And tap into your strength. My therapist said, you don't even understand how strong you are. You think you're not powerful. You're more powerful than you think you are. And that's for somebody else. Wow. You're more powerful than you think you are. But because of your circumstances and what you've been through it all, hell breaking loose and the way the world feels like it's on your shoulders, you feel like you're small. You feel like you don't have that much power. You feel like you're weak. And God is sure to tell you that you are more powerful than you think you are. To look yourself in the mirror and speak life, you are simply passing through these circumstances. So you might be crying in front of the front door. You couldn't even make it in the house. <laughs> I dropped to the floor. I started crying. I was like, God. Yeah, I was a boss, though. Okay, my outfit was lit today. Okay. <laughs> lit. I'm going to post a video of it. I got these some earrings with TikTok shop little teardrops. They were so cute. You see them? Yeah. I, I walked in here like a boss. I walked in the hallway in this building like a boss. I was like, don't cry. Don't cry. Stand 10 toes. Okay, and I did. And I sat shaded here with my fitted dress on looking good. And then when I got behind clothes, was I dropped to the floor. <laughs> the heels came off. <laughs> and I dropped to the floor. But I was a boss all the way up until I hit this dump. Okay. <laughs> so, baby, you're going to cry. You're going to cry. And that's okay. You're going to question things. And that's okay. You're going to be reminded of your past, and that is okay. You're mourning it because you're letting it go, okay? It's a process, but it's going to be worth it. And in the end, you will thank God and continue to thank Him right now. Even though I was crying on this floor, I'm still thanking God for the fact that I, I even can call on Him in this moment. I was thanking Him for me crying on this floor, nose being stuffed. What I'm going through, I was thanking Him. Because God said, if you express joy in your trials, you will gain endurance and perseverance. Endurance and perseverance. You will need that. And my therapist was like, resilience is the best thing that you can have. It's the most powerful tool. It's the most powerful key. You know, I understand that now. <laughs> After today, I understand it fully. You get what I'm saying? It is so easy to stay focused on the negative. Not even the negative, but 
the things that make you feel the best, it's easy to focus on that when so many other great things happen in my day. You get what I'm saying? It's so easy to focus on the things that make you feel good. The test that you feel like, dang God, I did not pass that test at all. <laughs> I was talking like a boss and the test came and I failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm going to try again. Okay, the next time. And I ain't crying on the floor. Looking like alfalfa. <laughs> not again. Okay. You starting to be like, listen, record yourself next time. You ain't going to do it again. Like, oh, I look crazy. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> uh, I'm crying to that. Yeah. Great rising. Happy Saturday morning. Um, <laughs> I clicked on the beginning of that message and I was like, I think my people need to hear this. Do y'all not know how many times throughout like my healing journey that I went out of town and I would be looking good. I would be feeling good. I'm having fun. And then the moment I got back to like my room or hell, sometimes even the car or whatever i would just break down into like the ugly cry into like the ugly cry and you know i was on my healing journey i was grieving i was i was getting through it you know what i'm saying and all i could do was call on god all i had in me was the faith that i had in god that whatever it was that i was going through that i was going to be able to get through it and then that's where i've been lately like with every challenge that's been coming up in my life, everything that I've been facing, all the things that I've been going through, I just heard a TikTok said, you are in your Job season. And you know, in the story of Job, the devil went to God and asked God if he could test Job and see if, you know, he would stand the test of time, if he would still have faith in God after everything that the devil was going to put him through. And God was like, yeah, I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> we gonna test it out and the devil got to work Job lost his kids Job lost his family his friends his home his his health you know and through all of that Job still stayed faithful to God still had faith that God was going to come and save him even told God, I mean, told his own wife, don't you speak towards God like that because his wife came in. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Why are you still having faith in somebody who's not showing up for you? Why are you still doing this? And then he was like, do not speak about my God in that way. You have to have faith. And at the end of that, I'm making a long story short, but at the end of that test, Job still had faith in God through everything and God blessed him tenfold. You hear me? God restored everything in Job's life. And I don't know who this message is for or why I decided to play that because that was not a part of my that was not a part of my plan this morning. I just wanted to make me a couple copies and Dale got at that. Y'all can order it by clicking the link down in the description box. It's on TLC website. It's a um weight loss coffee. Uh well it helps to curb your appetite. But anyways, I don't know who this was for. But why I decided to play that message and why I decided to tell you the story about Job this morning. But I know that I'm in a time in my life where I'm, I have nothing but faith in God. <laughs> and even on the days where I may not wake up as happy or I'm, I'm waking up um, confused. I know confusion is of the devil. And so I'm doing whatever I can. Isolating. Whatever I need to do to get that up off of me. Because I need that spirit of confusion to be cast down to hell. And rebuke it from my presence ever again. You get what I'm saying? And so, I ask that you call on God. My camera died. I'm going to let it charge. And then I'm going to go get a memory card because I need new memory. But I ask that you call on God today. That you have that faith of a mustard seed. And you let God show up for you in your life. And you allow him into your heart. And you have so much faith that you know that everything that you're going through right now is going to be okay um so yeah decree and declare it everything is working out in my greatest and my highest good for my greatest and my highest good i am healed i am healthy i am wealthy i am blessed okay i am successful okay i am doing what god put me on this earth to do in jesus name 
I love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Let me let the camera toy. Let me let the camera toy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So one, I started up. I started out cleaning up the kitchen, in the living room, and then um, I did some laundry. I got on the phone with Raven at twelve twenty-three. It's three oh eight. We just now get out the phone. I was like, I'm finna run to Target. I gotta go get a memory card, y'all. I go to Target. They don't have the memory cards that I use because I only use a certain type of memory card because I like having a certain type of quality. So the memory cards that I use are the SanDisk ones and it's usually the Extreme Plus because it um, helps with the video quality. And then I like, I only use the ones that got 4K cause I film in 4K. Um, and so this one, it's what I needed, okay? It's faster, the it picks up everything, the quality is just there. So um I got a 256 gigabyte one. Now this same one is on Amazon for $29.99, but I didn't have time to order from Amazon, so I just got it from Best Buy and it was $36.99. So got that. When I put it in here, it said that I had seven hours and like 57 minutes of memory. And I'm filming in 4K. So, 7 hours and 54 minutes of memory, which is good. I bought one of these hard drives and don't know where it's at. Y'all know these are $100. This was $109 in Best Buy. It's $100 on Amazon, $99.99. So, I got to transfer everything out of this damn phone and put it in this thing. So that I can reset my phone and I can have all the memory back in my phone and I can start back creating for my phone. Plus, I gotta transfer everything from the laptop onto here so that I can have all my stuff and my laptop won't be full. So, boom, these two things alone, $160, okay? A hard drive and a memory card, $160. Had to get some gas, $40. Cot, still ain't in on full with that $40. Then, I was hungry, so I went out and got me something to eat. I had teriyaki in Japan. I had a roll of country crab and two egg rolls and a little side of dumpling sauce. That was $13, $14, $13, something like that. So now I'm back at the house. I got to get my wig together. Um, I'm going to put these plug-ins in the damn wall. And um, I'm going to go in here and make up my bed and stuff. And I cleaned the litter box. I mopped the cat's bathroom, which is my half bath. And so, did that. I got to take this other bag of litter outside. And I was going to mop in here, but I probably want to mop in here until tomorrow. So, yeah, changing out my plugins. <sighs> and I'm going to go from there, honey. I want to do my hair. If I do my hair, that means I got to do my makeup. I did buy some new things yesterday. And I'm going to show y'all once I get in my room. The stuff that I got from TJ Maxx yesterday. Because honey, in the wildflower that I'm using today is the mahogany vanilla. Mahogany vanilla. And I don't know how my shit be disappearing. I feel like my, my wildflowers and stuff or like my plugins. Like, they be disappearing. Where my shit at? <sighs> Ice outside. Using the potty. I need to put all these tea up. I'm going to drink some detox tea tonight. Like I said, I still got to do my jump rope for the day. So. Oh. Girl, got a lot going on. Got a lot going on. I washed my two bases, so I'm probably going to use these two. I'm going to have flowers everywhere because I got these right here and I got these right here. So these four sets of flowers. I might put one in one base. I don't know. I might put these red ones inside my big base up there and then just have these two in separate ones. That's probably what I'm do, and I'm gonna film myself doing that. So yeah, 
pretty much. Pretty freaking much. Explain to y'all what what I've been doing, what kind of day we got. You hear me? I'm finna light my other candle and I'm finna turn on some music. I'm finna turn some music on this damn TV. Let's get to it. Like the stems on these were kind of thin so to me when the stems thin like that the flower don't have as much of a long life span however you can do certain things you can put bleach in it sugar um ice all kind of stuff and then just the flower food but then look at these you see how they already blooming like look at that they already blooming and i mix pink and white with these and the stems on these are so like thick and healthy and i kept a little bit of the um the leaves on there because i wanted it to look full but these are going in my room these going in my room and these going in the living room so yes i have so much fun i know people be wanting this like i already bought like together i like putting it together this is what i like I wasn't gonna go out y'all but i decided to go to the huncho so <laughs> this is what your girl ended up looking like go follow me on instagram and tiktok so y'all can see my outfits and get like behind the scenes of stuff i am gonna insert a few little clips from the club or whatever but just since y'all here this outfit is 
one of the outfits that I wore back during my birthday time. It's from Fashion Nova. That belt chain, actually got that from a friend. Don't know where it's from. Got on my Rick Owens. That jacket that I got on is from Fashion Nova as well. My bag is Prada. And then, yeah, makeup in her by me. Get slayed by Lily Perry. Look at that. Face giving. All oh, the glasses are from Amazon. Um, they actually my daughters. But yeah, your girl was giving Thickiana. What y'all think? Leave me a comment down below. I had a good time. And yeah, here go my clips from the hunt show. <laughs> I love right. that. I love that. So, yeah, is Miss Denise me. the only I'm one? Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Denise. You the? Are you the only one? Is she the only one who weighed this week? Did anybody yeah, else? I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, look, look. I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. Because, <laughs> <right>? <laughs> with people of color, with women of color, mm -hmm. especially women, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our weight is very hormonal and mm -hmm. if we're not happy no matter how much working out we do mm -hmm. and this I'm, I'm i've been through it no matter how much working out i had two trainers and three gym members mm -hmm. no matter how much working out you do if you're not happy with yourself or with your situation that weight just gonna sit there yeah you spinning for no reason yeah so baby i ain't never scared to get on this thing with <laughs> 24 because it's Better than that 263. Yes. 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 Still the same with the working out. Um, I suggest 15 to 30 minutes. Definitely keep the water intake up. I feel like this week I want to work more on my water intake. I did good, but I definitely wasn't hitting no gallon. Um, so I want to work on that. And jump ropes, working out. Oh, meatless Monday, fresh air Friday. And still keep up the momentum in the group chat because I feel like that helps everybody and that helps motivate everybody. We seeing each other pushing. We seeing when we, you know, not feeling too good and we motivate each other. Like all of that is necessary and all of that is needed. So just keep showing up and showing up for yourself. And um, I think everything going to work out. It's going to be good. Now we we going to go to week three and we're going to be at a thousand jump ropes a day. <laughs> so we that's really. Right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> jump ropes a day. I'm telling you, that's my goal is to just stay fast. Yes. And I yes. definitely, at first I was like, you know, I'm not sweating that much with just the jump ropes, but it do be when you get to like that 300 mark or something like that, or when you feel that burn, you like, okay, I didn't think this right. was that much, but this is a lot. Like, come on now. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to add me to all of y'all prayer lists, okay? Yes. Girl, you going to do it. When I retired in February, the pandemic came in March, and God was waking me up every morning and said, get your money, your ammo, and your food together. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, okay, because you know, stock market had came and crashed before, mm -hmm. took 50000 of my money on one day, but mm -hmm. God said, get your money, your ammo, and your food, because I had just moved to Vegas, girl, we, I got little friends. I came to myself but the enemy was trying to kill me slowly because I was retired. I was sitting in here, had plenty. I was good on my coins. Mm -hmm. I was smoke. You know, I hear you can ride through the uh, to the the, the dispensary. Uh -huh. You can call it in, honey, and just go pick it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm just smoking and drinking peach crown, the wine. My husband don't even drink wine. If I open a bottle of wine, I was drinking it. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I, I did a talk to some ladies up in Berkeley. I went. They had a women's conference, and I talked to them, and my part was about addiction. Yes. Because off and on, I have been addicted to marijuana since I was 14 years old. Wow. Off and on, even when I found the Lord, I was good and saved. Mm -hmm. I'm saved right now. I got a relationship with God now. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I, the devil was trying to kill me. I was drinking like a fish. Wow. Like women to their highest level, and Miss LaWanda 
give me a little bit of me when I was younger, and I just yeah. I love her get up and go. So, yeah. which is why she got my support. So, y'all, y'all got my support too, and y'all gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. I don't mean be all mommy and shit. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, I appreciate y'all. What gave y'all the courage to, to do therapy? Right. Like, what? to go I and hit, do I it. hit the bottom. Yeah. I, I bottomed out. Yeah. I bottomed down. I, it, normally, I can handle I can take a lot. But when I'm battling, I was torn with myself. Like, mentally, I knew, and I know it ain't right. Like, I mm-hmm. know what you're doing. I know you're a narcissist. Mm-hmm. I know you're manipulating me. Mm-hmm. I see what you're doing. Mm-hmm. But my heart is like... Well, Still maybe. attached, so, yes, and that be the yeah, devil. Like, that little thought I that come, maybe I can just, maybe I'm doing too much, or maybe I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm overthinking it, or maybe because you know yeah. I've been so aggressive in the past. Um, this is something that's going around that I just need to get through. No, that's not the truth. The first thought that you had when it felt wrong, that's the solid one. You know what I'm saying? But the thing that helped me to get in therapy was the fact of like. You know, you got to do something different. And I wanted to talk to somebody different. I wanted to talk to somebody that did not know me, that did not... Unbiased. Yes, unbiased. unbiased. And you have the ability to change it. For you.